us to a farm called Lily's Leaf on George Avenue in the wealthy Santon suburbs of Rivonia. In the 1960s, this site was used as a secret hideout for Nelson Mandela. Activists from the African National Congress had used Lily's Leaf Farm as a venue for secret meetings and as a safe house. The farm is now a museum and a heritage site, which details the events that led to the Rivonia trial. At the height of the liberation struggle, the farm was nicknamed Lil's Place, while others had codenamed it Cedric. And today, at Lily's Leaf, you will find Cedric's Cafe. of the city, dancing in unison to unique choreography and showcasing their talents for the whole world to see. Music is very much part of the culture in the city, whether it's coming from street buskers and drummers or concerts and stage performances. And you can take your pick from a whole spectrum of entertainment outlets that play live music or have DJs spinning the decks. Let's get down to some foodie business. First up, the Bull Run on 20 Mount Street at Protea Hotel Balalaika Santon. Right in the middle of the Santon Business District lies the Protea Balalaika Hotel Santon. Housed in a beautiful country style building, the charming hotel has been a local landmark for over 60 years. In the old days, it was a favourite spot among travellers from Johannesburg to Pretoria who stopped by for tea or light refreshments. The hotel offers several dining options for its guests and top of the list is the Bull Run Steakhouse. Johannesburg and I had to with me Karen and she's the marketing manager of the Bull Run. So what would you say is the, the top selling dish that you serve here at Bull Run? What is the most popular dish? It would definitely be our jalapeno and feta fillet. Mm -hmm. um, it's a 340 gram fillet that, that they butterfly and then inside they, they put jalapeno and fillet mm -hmm. then they roll it up, they grill it on, on, on open plants and then they chop it with, with extra jalapeno and then it obviously comes with like a choice, choice of stock. Okay. And with food that you have on the menu, do you have anything that's uh, South African traditional, traditional South African dishes? Maybe? Yeah. And we actually have a very unique salad. It's called a biltong and avocado. Um, yeah. Salad. So tell me about. Well, I've heard about it. What exactly is it? Okay. So salad. without not making it sound too funny, but it's basically raw meat right. that they cut up and it goes through an air drying like, like pro, pro process. So mm -hmm. it's similar to beef, beef, beef jerky, but just a lot better. Okay, right. so, okay, so that's, I'm going to try it tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm going to get to try the salad, the, the built salad, and what else am I going to do? You're also going to try the uh, jalapeno and feta. You know what I mean? Okay, that's the name. Uh, yes. And then we also very, very famous for our wild berry cream burger. to prepare a beef fillet. The 340 gram piece is butterflied and stuffed with jalapeno and feta cheese and then put on the grill. If you like, you can have it with salty vegetables on the side. 
We just brought out our meals and I looked forward to sampling the jalapeno and feta pile which the chef prepared next to the biltong and avocado salad. This is delicious. I love the biltong. And um, it goes so well with the salad. Yeah, I can see that why it's a different choice. From beef or game meat, biltong is also eaten as a snack in South Africa. Yes, it was finally time for the restaurant's famous creme brulee. The top is sprinkled with a layer of sugar, which is then caramelized for that slightly crunchy taste, while the custard is smooth and melts in the mouth. Served with cream and wild berries, this was every bit as good as she said it would be. Since I have a sweet tooth, rest assured I am going to enjoy this to the end. We'll be back with more on the bull run. Stay tuned!